My name is Stanislaw Liberto with Motion VFX, and this tutorial will get you up and running with MPRISM. MPRISM can be found in the Effects tab of Final Cut Pro. Then click MPRISM. There's over 50 different customizable effects to choose from. Each one has unique light leaks and different prism effects. Just hover your cursor over the different effects to see a preview of them. And when you found one you like, just drag and drop it onto your clip. The on-screen control will let you adjust the position and the scale of your prism effect. You can further customize these effects by opening the inspector and accessing more of the controls. Once inside the inspector, M Prism Effects will have controls for effects, light leaks, footage clone, footage mask, noise, vignette blur, and vignettes. The effect opacity is like a master control for the entirety of the effect. The leak's position and scale are the same as the on-screen controls, but in the inspector, we can flip it both vertically or horizontally using the leak's flip controls. Below that are controls for the leak's hue, saturation, and brightness. The footage clone controls allow you to adjust how the prismatic effect happens with your footage. So in this case, we can rotate it or even work with the color and change it some more. Let's take a closer look at the leaks control here and I'll adjust the brightness and saturation to really pump up the look of that light and color leak. With the dedicated clone controls, it's really easy to dial down the look of that clone layer, even flipping it or taking it all the way down to nothing. I personally like it when it's dialed down just a little bit and with a little bit of chromatic aberration, gives it a little bit more of authentic feel. We can get really granular with these controls too. With this footage blur, we can affect just the clone layer and blur it out a bit more. Now in this next clip, I already have an M Prism effect placed onto it, but I'd like to pump this up just a bit more, so I'll add a second one right on top. A quick note of something to be aware of. By scaling this down, we will hit the edge of our footage. So we can turn on some blurs and even this refraction to soften that up just a bit. Let's take a look at a few more options. I'll grab another prism and place it on this clip. If you've ever used M Film Look, you may be familiar with the noise controls. This allows us to add some great looking authentic noise to our projects. I want to create something a little bit more dramatic, so I'll use the red, green, and blue channels to just scale them up and separate them a bit. Let's talk about this footage mask settings. Inside here is a whole nother set of controls and what these will do will manipulate the clone layer and how that prism wraps around our layer here. Essentially, this gives us full control over how that prism and clone layer works, meaning between all the different presets that we have here, with these controls, you can create almost unlimited effects. Now you don't have to go ahead and manipulate the prisms for each one. Sometimes all you need is a little bit of color change and some brightness. Other times adding a vignette blur will give a really nice focus towards the center of our screen. After making some changes to my vignette blur, I'll use the vignette and just darken the edges a bit. With this one last example, I'm going to use a prism effect and I'm going to use this almost as a zoom tool. And the reason why I'm doing that is I'm manipulating my clone layer here in my scale. And because of the softness and the light leak of the M prism, I can almost create this airy zoom in that's a little blurry and it gives me a really nice soft look to my footage. 
With a few more adjustments to my color, vignettes, and some saturation, I feel like this is a lot stronger than it was when I first started. So that is the basics of using mPRISM in a few different ways. Again, my name is Stanislaw Liberto with Motion VFX. And for more tutorials and templates for Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion, visit motionvfx.com.